Hi guys, welcome to Rain's Place. Today we are making lemon garlic chicken over pasta and we're gonna make the pasta fresh in our Phillips pasta maker machine. Um, what I've got here right now is, um, I have two chicken breasts actually. They were so large I cut this one to three pieces and this one as well. Um, what I'm going to do is just salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder on each side of them and that's how I'm going to season them. Salt. Pepper. Can't go wrong with garlic. Okay, I'm going to flip everybody over and do the same. Okay, and then we're just going to dredge this in a little bit of flour, which I forgot to get, so I'll have my handy dandy assistant grab me some flour. You know, the um, second container of flour, second from the left, just like about a cup of it would be fine. Okay, well, he's getting that for me. Um, I also have a pan getting warm on the stove over a medium high heat. And I'm going to add to that two tablespoons of butter and a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't burn. That's good. Don't worry, I'll clean over that stuff that you drop the flour on later. Okay, so here's our flour. So you just salt, pepper, garlic powder on both sides. And now you're going to just dredge it into, this is just plain flour. Sides. And <coughs> the natives are restless. It's dinner time, they just ate. Okay, all six pieces, and then I'm just going to swing it around to the other side, and we'll cook this. So I had the pan already getting warm, and I'm going to put, um, I guess I'll start with two tablespoons of butter in the pan. And a little... I'm going to give it a little drizzle of olive oil just so that the butter doesn't get too hot. I'm just going to start placing my chicken in here. And you don't have to touch it too much. It's going to take about three minutes per side. And it'll be golden brown. And then we'll remove these three cutlets from the pan. And we'll put the next three cutlets in. I will be back in just a moment when I have all the chicken together. Okay, guys, I'm back. We're with the last three pieces of chicken. The first ones are over here. They're nice and golden brown. Mmm. Smells really good. Okay, so I'm going to take these out.
And in the same pan, we're going to make the sauce. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by adding two more tablespoons of butter. I did add a little extra olive oil when I put the um, second set of chicken breast in there. Just because the pan was a little dry looking. I'm going to um, put the butter in. I'm going to lower my heat a little bit. I have it on kind of like a medium high. I'm going to do it just a little bit lower than medium. And I'm going to add um, some minced garlic. I'm going to give it a nice big heaping teaspoon. That's probably like a tablespoon or so. And I'm just going to stir that in here. Just let it go for a second. Um, a little bit of lemon zest. Can't see which way it is. Wow. Mm, I wish you could smell this. I'm going to add a little bit of the cream to it. I'm going to start with about a half a cup or so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk it. And the flour from the chicken and the little bits of the garlic. Mmm. That's going to get thick on us. Okay, well that's thickening up and coming to temperature. I'm going to get a little more lemon zest in here. I'm going to cut this lemon in half. Ah! I'm going to juice it over my hand to catch any um, to catch any of the seeds. Okay. Okay, so that's the juice of about half a lemon. Oh my god, you should smell it. So good. Just gonna add a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. A little bit of salt. If you don't like salt, don't add it. Okay. I think that's going to be it for the sauce. Um, let me get the pasta together and I'll come back and we'll put the plate together for you. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have the chicken is finished cooking. The lemon sauce is almost done. We just have to finish it with the Parmesan and a little parsley. What we're going to do now is make our noodles. I picked a fettuccine dye that I'm going to use. Um, I was going to do a garlic herb pasta, but uh, it's getting late now. It's almost 7 o'clock and uh, my husband doesn't like that. So I'm just going to make a plain pasta and um, I will do the herb one another day. I also bought the stuff to make a carrot flavored pasta so I'm thinking maybe carrot sage. So stay tuned for that. That'll be very soon. Okay. I'm going to start with the um, liquids. I'm going to do the pasta is going to be the side dish so I'm just doing enough um, the single recipe that'll be enough of a side for three people. I'm cracking one egg into the cup that they gave me. And then I'm going to fill the rest of the way with some water and mix it with a fork. I'm having my handy dandy assistant do that. Okay, um, I'm going to turn on my scale. If you don't have a scale and you're going to be making a lot of pasta, I mean, I think it's really worth the money. This one came on my bread machine. Um, okay, so I'm going to zero it out with the cup on it. 
and it's on is it on grams yep it's on grams and I need 250 grams and again you want to um, you want to put the flour into the container you don't want to scoop it because that makes it um, too dense you're getting more than you need okay so I'm at 150 236 you see how it's kind of like over already if you didn't have the scale you would probably be putting less than 250 and then your pasta might be a little sticky or you know not quite right because I'm crazy I need it to be 250 okay okay 250 grams oh did you see that it went to 251 I'm going to take it off before I lose my mind. Okay, so into the hopper it goes. And I'm going to put the top back on. I'm going to... I have the pasta water going. I am going to choose... This is horrible lighting and I apologize. Okay, there we go. I'm going to turn the machine on. And then I'm going to choose one cup, which is this one. One cup. It's going to take me 10 minutes. And then I'm just going to hit the start button over here. Now the flour is beginning to turn. And I'm going to just add my liquid ingredients to the top here. And it's just going to mix it right in. Use your finger and get the rest of the egg in. Okay. I'm going to um, just push this machine back a little bit. And if you remove the little drawer thing, and we're going to need this to cut the um, pasta to the appropriate size, you can put the plate in further to catch the pasta. Okay, so we have about nine minutes to go. It started at ten minutes, so about eight minutes it's going to start extruding. So um, I'm not going to make you watch this for another minute and a half. I'm going to pause it and I'll come back. When okay, so um, it took three minutes for it to mix the dough. So at seven minutes, it's starting to extrude it. I'm not going to make it crazy long, what do you think? Can oh, we take the pot top off over there? Just put it in the drainer right there. Is it boiling good? Okay, it looks pretty, right? Oops, that one didn't cut. There we go. So the nice thing about doing the fettuccine is that um, it takes about three minutes to boil. So dinner will be served in three minutes. Okay, I'm going to let this go and I will bring you over to the stove as soon as it's done and we get this in the water. I have my pasta water already boiled and it's ready to go. Okay, I'm back. This is the pasta that we made. This is the what they call the, the single serving out of the Philips pasta maker and it's humongous. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to salt this boiling water generously and I'm going to um, throw all the pasta in. 
And it's going to take probably about three minutes. And then we're going to have pasta for dinner. So let me um, give this a stir. Just to show you what's going on in my other pan. Again, my husband doesn't like the same stuff. He doesn't really care for like cream sauces and that kind of thing. Doesn't really like cheesy stuff. So um, I just have two of the cutlets that I made. And they're just simmering in um, one of our favorite Italian spaghetti sauces, which is Tutoruso traditional. And um, I'm going to let that go for another couple minutes. Let me see. Let me see how that. Oh, I forgot to put the timer on for the pasta. I'll put two minutes now so I can check. And then this, I'm just going to give this a stir around. Cover that up a little with some, with some sauce. And right before I serve it, I'm going to throw a little um, Parmesan cheese on it. And I'll put the top back on and, and melt that for him. That'll go over some pasta. I'm just going to turn that off for now. I'll come back over here. I have the other sauce on the counter. When the red sauce is done, I'm going to put it back on there, get it warmed up again, add the Parmesan cheese, which is about, um, I did about a quarter to a half a cup of grated fresh Parmesan, and I'm going to finish it off with a little parsley flake. I don't have fresh parsley, so I'm just going to use some, some dried parsley. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, give the pasta one more minute and then I'm going to drain it and I'll bring it back when we're plating. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just put the cheese on my husband's chicken and I have this up I'm to a nice simmer and I'm going to add the grated fresh Parmesan cheese. Again, about a quarter to a half a cup. And just a little bit of parsley. If I had fresh, I'd put fresh in. I'm adding just a little flake. Okay, that's it. I'm going to get these plated up, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, we're back. I have everything plated. This is plain pasta with red sauce. The chicken that I made for the lemon chicken that I just put a little uh, mozzarella and some parsley flakes on. And then this is it. This is the garlic lemon sauce with Parmesan and a little parsley served over fresh pasta made in the Phillips pasta maker and some chicken cutlets. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you give me a thumbs up if you do. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. There'll be more videos coming. And if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments box. And I will leave you um, complete directions on how to make this meal in the description box. Okay, guys, thank you.